Hi, hello. I don't know if this will be my last video in festive mode. Uh, the the time is passing, and I think we're gonna be very soon uh, out of Christmas. So it's finally finally gonna be, it's gonna be ending. This I believe is episode seven, and in the previous episode, episode six, we got this deck, which had untamed logos and propna. Um, and basically, I was I was happy because it got uh, uh, the Witch of the Eye, which is the first time I get her. I got Hunting Witch, but only one, and then only three more creatures: Flaxia, Nifolape, and Dew Fairy, which gains one amber every time it rips, plus an extra amber for reaping. And then uh, I got some logos uh, cards for archiving: Archive, Archive from this card pile, from from your hand, the Bat Drones, which are very annoying, uh, the Transposition Sandals. I've never played with this card, so I I don't know how how powerful is this but i believe it allows you to swap up uh, swap people uh, in your battlefront right and use the person that you have been swapped with so it allows to cheat so that's pretty good um Gandalf of command again house cheating a lot of house cheating here i uh, have two face shifts so it's like very a lot of cheating on the house uh, drawing cards with the library of bubble bubble um Burn the stockpile, a lot of fighty stuff, uh, loot the bodies, burn the stockpile, follow the leader, unguarded camp, a lot of stealing, gaining, fighting. And then I got uh, Mimicry, my first Mimicry. I need to play this and see how it goes. Uh, I think it's quite, it can be quite powerful to do this. They do a bait and switch on you, you could reply back uh, later. If they do something nasty on you, then you can reply later. So I think that's pretty good. And then we have lots of, uh, we have Magwom, Troll, uh, Lomil, Flame Fist, really strong, two Fire Speeders, very tough, uh, one Cramp, very, very tough um, uh, Brokner creatures. And have a look at this, have a look at this. The cheapest one, I mean, the least powerful one is a five, which is a Fire Speeder, you know, that gives an extra deal, one extra damage to each enemy creature before the fight. And it has one armor, right? So that's the that's the weakest card uh, for Brobnar. So that's pretty good. It has a full moon, uh, which is always good. So I think this one is quite promising. It's quite aggressive, this one. I think this one might be missing some key cards here to make it amazing. But I will only know after playing. So I'll, I'll have to get to play it. And I will tell you how they did well in the future. So yes, that was uh, Reign of the Swordsman of Asgaipio. Okay, so pff, like all these names uh, made by computer. So let's see what we got today. Will we get something good? Will we get something really, really boring? I don't know. Really standard? Let's see. Okay, thank you. See you later. Okay, so today there's only one deck. I can do the thing like this and spin it around, but it's going to be this one. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's hope it's not Mars, please. No Mars. And I see I haven't had any shadows. You know, I've opened seven decks. This is my seventh one. And I still have not got any shadows. So I hope this one is going to be shadows. But if I don't have to get shadows, I could do with a Horseman deck. Or I could do with Nepenthesy and Library Access. So let's, let's have a look what we got. Okay, let's see. And we got, interesting, I like the combination. I'm very happy about this. So we got Logos, Sanctum, and Untamed. Active Volume Judah. Okay, so let's see what we got. This could give us Nepenthe Seed and Library Access. Could be a one-time kill uh, type of deck. Let's see. Will we be lucky today? Do you feel lucky? I feel lucky. Let's see. Hop! Way of the Wolf. This is the first one I get. This creature against Skirmish. Okay. And gives you one, uh, one Amber. Snuffle Gator. Halakor. That's nice. That's Pixie gives you two Amber. That's nice. Another That's Pixie. Nice. Two Amber. Ritual of Balance. We had this one in our previous episode, episode three, if I remember right. I got two of these. I actually have never used it in, in, in a game. I played uh, and I got them in the table, but I, did, I didn't get to to steal any amber. And then Vigor, yes, I, I know about this one. The Common Code, I have never seen this one, it's a rare. The Common Code, play, deal one damage to each creature. You may destroy all Mars creatures. Ah, oh, very interesting, very specific as well. If you're playing against Mars, it's just one damage to every creature. Okay, and then save the pack, yes, yeah, so destroy each damaged creature, so that's 
a lot of destroying there. Regrowth, I like regrowth because you can return a creature from the discard pile to your hand, so that's really useful. You can always get Ether Spider or, you know, the, all your coolest uh, creatures back to your hand. And then another regrowth, oh, fantastic, very good. And then Full Moon, yes, that's what you want, right? That's what you want. And so that was it, that was it. So it's just one creature, two creatures, three, four, only four creatures, so that's not so good. Full Moon with only four creatures is a bit rubbish. Well, okay, they give you a lot of amber, so that's okay. Not super impressed, not super impressed. Okay, Sanctum. Gatekeeper, we got that one in, in the past. Uh, Ready Knight. Lord Golgotha, it's a rare. I got one of these. That's okay. And then Commander Remiel. Bulwark, a fantastic creature. It's common, but it's so useful. And another Bulwark. Potion Impulnable Ability. Hello Blaster. Virtuous Works, really good to get free amber. They host yeah, so pretty standard stuff, cleansing way, not very massively, clearly no, no, no horsemen here. Um, we didn't get the Pentacid either. Blinding Light, so not, not fantastic, uh, Sanctum, I think it's uh, pretty, it's okay, it's alright. Two Bulwars is, is worth it. So, let's go to Logos. Valen Analyst, each time you use an artifact, gain one. Okay, so how many artifacts did they get? Because I think I got the Ritual of Balance, right? But that's it, so just one. And then here I got the the potion, right, and the hollow blaster. So that's uh, it's one time use, uh, and the hollow blaster, yes. So it's two, two or three artifacts in total. Okay, so that's okay. And then Titan mechanic, cheap keys, and we got the recent smokers archive the top of card of your deck, yes, and another one. Okay, another course Very many logos cards, but very weak. And that's, ooh, many, many creatures from Logos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm an exploiter. Yes, I like that one. Destroying. So that's another artifact. And the interdimensional graft. If an opponent forges a key on their next turn, they must give you the remaining amber. Foggy Fi, Effervescent Principle, and Bouncing Death Club. It's quite a lot of fun to play. Okay. So I can see it's okay. I think it's an average deck. I'm a little bit disappointed, but well, hey ho. Okay, so let's have a look at the analysis. Creature, 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 creature. And then artifact. Action, 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 action. Creature, 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 creature. Artifact, artifact, action, 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 action. Creature, 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 creature. Artifact. Action, 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 action. Okay. So let's have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it's a bit on the heavy side for creatures. Let's have a look at action. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So more or less okay, average. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's more or less a set it above average. And one upgrade which is bang on. So now let's have a look at the at the amber. No amber, no amber, but Untamed has the two that speaks it. So four amber there. That's pretty good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, so that's the key for this deck, right? All the previous ones we've reviewed, they have six, seven, eight, nine, ten maximum. And this one has 16 or, or more uh, direct amber. So this deck, I need to play as fast as I can all my cards. Uh, it's a cycling deck. So this one, I need to play all of my cards as fast as I can. And hopefully with Untamed, I should get these dust pixies, right? They get them out. And then when they die, do the, the two regrowth I have and play them again, right? So that's the way to, to win this game. So I think this actually, it looks like maybe it's not too good, but it's by, it must be very quick to get to forge keys. Must be very, very quick. They're going to get lots of cards on the table and get them, get all that sweet, sweet amber, forge keys quickly. That's it. So that's my, my review for today. Strategy tips. Strategy tips, I think, today, I think... We, we, well, it's basically uh, the, this definition, the distinguishing, distinguishing between um, 
what is a cycling deck where you have to play your cards as quick as you can uh, because the more you play, the more amber you're gaining and then you're cycling through all these special effects that are going to let you go be very, very quick, very, very fast. And then there are other, other decks where you don't want that. Usually Brobnar deck is not a cycling deck, right? Brobnar or Sanctum, you usually kind of cycle through your deck very quickly because you have um, you have very very and this one is has Santum, right but uh, usually uh, they remain on the board and uh, it's, it's you know it's, it's difficult to go through your deck uh, when you have lots of cards uh, in your hand that you cannot play um, so I think you have to distinguish if a deck feels like it's a um, you know a cycling deck or not one way of telling is how much amber you can get directly by playing cards and this one has 15 16 i think 16 amber you must play cards don't care too much about what you're playing don't care too much about if they die or not because they're gonna be allowing you to play them again and you're gonna be generating the amber that way so this is a basically an anti-play uh, type of deck you basically are saying you know what I don't care if you kill it or not. I don't. I don't care. I just want to keep playing them. They go to the discard pile as long as you're not purging them. I'm fine. I will just keep them drawing from my deck and then playing them, and then it will give me amber, and that's how I win. I don't need to fight. I don't need to reap. I just play cards and I'll get the direct amber, and I won. And you don't even know how 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 come I have already three keys and you have maybe one. So that's my advice for you today. If you have a deck that has lots of amber in the cards, like this one that has 16 direct amber, you must play as quick as you can. So that means when you have in your hand uh, three cards from one from one house, two from one, and, and one for another, you have six cards, three, two, and one, you are going to play the one with three. So you're going to play those three cards, or discard them if they don't give you amber, and, and just keep going. Just keep going, getting more and more cards, and then playing as many as you can, and getting that sweet amber there. Okay, so that's all for today. Hope you enjoy. Like and subscribe. Leave the comments at the bottom. And I'll get some more new packs. I'll get some new packs to open for you. Cheers. Bye.